Well, hey everybody, welcome to Ken Knows Gambling, and this is going to be my second installment, if you will, of Ken Unfiltered. A couple topics I just, I just got to get out there, I, I, I can't help it. Uh, so this will be in a couple segments, I'm not really sure uh, how many, but uh, I, I think it's, it's going to be fun, it's going to be interesting, but a couple topics that I want to talk about. First thing that I want to talk about is this uh, this thing between John over there at uh, Pro Craps and Greg uh, over there at Five Five uh, Five 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 Craps. And by the way, if, if they're so they're so <laughs> the same but yet opposite, it's actually funny. And this this uh, both of their channels, this YouTube stuff going back and forth, I just think is great. Uh, I mean, I love this thing. And then John uh, had a series going on that I watched today. Actually, I watched it yesterday. But uh, he said, I actually want to pull a third person in. <laughs> he said, Ken, over at Ken Knows Gambling. So he pulled me in. So, all right, John, you sucked me in. You pulled me in. So here I am, okay? But I wanted to talk about that for just a second. I think that... The fellow YouTubers that are getting together and 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 respectfully agreeing to disagree or the back and forth ping pong. I think John said something like, you know, at CNN, you know, versus Fox, Don Lemon uh, versus Hannity, and I'm like, okay, you know, I get it. Who's who? <laughs> who who's Hannity and who's Lemon? And I, I don't think either one of them are gonna. Uh, uh, are going to say which is which, but uh, I thought the analogy was really cool. Because over on Greg's side, over at 555 Craps, I love him just because he's a lot like me. So if you haven't been to his channel, go to it, man. He's got the camera set at the end of the table. Uh, you can see his outcome. Hell, on mine, you can't even see it, just how I've got the angle and how I've got my setup. You just have to believe me that the rolls are right. <laughs> but anyway, he turns the camera on much as I do. He did roll it, man. Uh, he did one the other day of a don't crap outcome, and you know, and he was getting whacked pretty hard. But it's real, and I, I love Greg over there because of just the reality of it. Then on the other side, you have John, which still tells it straight, just like we do. But he's uh, he's more, and I and John don't take his bad. He's the techno geek, you know. Uh, he's got the d dual cameras and he can switch from, you know, his seat to the table and back and forth. Now to me, as a guy that just turns the, uh, turns the camera on and rolls it, I look at John over there at Pro Craft. I go, that's slick, you know, and how he can just switch and it's all set up. And I look at his channel with all going, oh my God, you know, but I remember my very first video. When I said, that ah, I don't care about subscribers, and I don't care this, that, and the other. Well, the truth is, I do. Uh, and my daughter's got me sort of to change my, change my thinking. Which is why I wanted to bring these two guys up. The back and forth between two YouTubers uh, that are talking about the same topics, and you get the different spins on it. Do you know how great that actually is? I think I made the analogy of magic the other day uh, when Penn and Teller started, you know, revealing secrets. And it just caused the creativity uh, module uh, to go out the roof. And magic became bigger and better uh, than it ever was because of that. And I, I sort of look at this as the same thing. Uh, we all have ideas. Uh, we all have little tweaks. We all have different things, and, and that's going to be one of my segments today. I, you know, you don't have to play the same way. I mean, I'm glad if you like my way. I'm glad if you like John's way. It doesn't really matter. But yet, it's tweakable, and tweaks doesn't mean wrong. So get this, folks. There is no absolute way, okay? Everything can be built upon. I think what John teaches, what Greg teaches, what I preach is the concept in general, and then there's going to be different layers of it, which is all good. So this banter back and forth between these two guys is actually causing me 
Uh, now I'm new. Uh, I'm really new. I don't even know if I'm two months in. And uh, hey, thank you everybody. By the way, I think we're getting close to 270 uh, subscribers. And and between Greg and John, they help catapult that. And I I do again want to shout them out. I think without their help, I wouldn't be here this quick. But it's a good thing. Uh, the creativity juices start flowing. And that can only be good. Uh, so you two, keep at it. <laughs> you know, I know you guys say your buds and everything, and I believe every word of it. Uh, but it's it's just causing creativity. And I suspect that it's not just me. I, I bet there's a bunch of YouTubers out there, whether even in the gambling world, and that doesn't matter. It's going to cause good things to happen. And that's just really, I think we all benefit from it, especially... The folks that are watching and they're interesting and learning, uh, you know, it's all positive. So this is this is actually good stuff. Uh, now, now I got to go into John a little bit. And oh, by the way, uh, maybe you guys can leave me a comment. I'm drinking the beverage of my choice and I've got a koozie over it. So you can't see what it is. Uh, it's an ML. And that don't mean money line. All right. But I don't know what the what the YouTube police and, 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 and whatnot is, the legalities of actually, you know, drinking a beer and, and showing the can itself. So I was cautioned. You know me, I'm all about caution. So I'm being cautious and I got it covered up. But nonetheless, cheers. All right, John, it's your turn. You know, you pulled me in. It's like the Godfather 3. They pulled me in. Uh, here's the thing. You said in your video, you said it's impossible. Don't try it. Uh, it's too difficult. Uh, but you said the word impossible a couple of times. Uh, but then, just moments later, you go, but practice and it's possible. Ah, brother, <laughs> can't have it both ways. It's either impossible or it's not, okay? Um, I think, let me say this, I think before the alligator and before the bouncy tables, I believe in my heart, hundred percent, it could be done because if two dice are hitting flat and they go up and bounce a flat and you can get them correctly, I, oh, I believe in the day, yeah, absolutely, uh, that it could be done. But as you mentioned, John, with the alligator, bouncy walls, and everything like that, because they know that it could be done, and they put countermeasures in, uh, as you say, now, to me, it is, in fact, impossible. I think you did allude to the fact that we're all random shooters, and that you're trying as a, a dice influencer or setter, or whatever the hell you want to call yourselves, uh, you're trying to to minimize the randomness. So I cannot fault anybody for their theory. Because you remember in my little three, big four little three, which yes, is John Patrick, which I just love to death, uh, theory, logic, and trends. If your theory is this is why it's possible or this is why it can happen, I, I dig it. I'm all about the theory. And my theory is as it's set today, forget about it. And if the fact is that it takes so much practice, so much practice, so much practice that it makes it impossible, and there might be a, a few guys in the whole world that can possibly do it, then it's it's just nope. I, I I just I just don't believe it. Now, not like Santa Claus, you know, Santa Claus ain't real. But here I am, fifty nine years old. And uh, I'll tell you that Santa Claus is real. Woo! It, and here's how I spin it. Santa Claus, to me, is the spirit of giving. So is the old fat guy that comes down the chimney real? Hell no. But the spirit of giving is real. Um, and so maybe, John, you were sort of wanting to go, you know, that way. But I really like your analogy of the golf. I play golf. You said you were a two handicapper. I wish. You know, I, I do 88, 90s, you know, and, and, and but I I do know if I put the work in 
and I really go out to the range and practice, 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 I do get better. I, I don't even uh, uh, come to the even thought that I can be, you know, like these pros. It's, it's no, ain't going to happen uh, just because I can't put the work into it. But even if I could, I know what Jack Nicholas said one time, it's impossible to hit a straight ball consistently. No pro can hit it straight. That's what you strive to do, but it can't be done. So that's my that's my theory uh, on dice control. I don't think you can do it. Not that it's like Santa Claus. I believe he's real or not real. Um, although I am saying I don't believe it can be done now with all the countermeasures. <laughs> but I just, let's say not consistently. Not consistently enough where it makes a hill of beans. Uh, but anyway, uh, I dig it. I dig what you're doing over there, John. And I, I know you got this nine part series coming on and, you know, I'm going to tune into it, but, uh, I think the facts are you can't do it and it's not a, a dream wish. I just, I don't think you can, uh, but if you think you can, like I always say, your theory, your logic, if you think you can do have at it, you know, and that's to any of you, okay? Anyway, enough about that. Uh, the next thing I want to talk about um, is my base, uh, my uh, my free picks over there. Um, first two games, we had uh, Tampa Bay money line. If you would have took the plus seven, you'd have won that one, but I picked them in a money line. And I picked them over 52 and a half, I think. And I think they won by 59, 60, something like that. So, hey, we're 2-0 and on all those picks I gave you. So, uh, tomorrow, whew, we'll see what happens tomorrow on Sunday. But, hey, it's starting good. You can't win them all unless you win the first one, right? So, that's going really, really well. And then, my next segment, I want to, I want to talk about absolutes. Um and tweaks, okay, because there seems to be a misunderstanding out there about can you tweak, should you tweak, and I, I really wanted to talk about that, and we're going to go to the table here in a, in a second, and I really want to get into this, but here's the thing, if I come up with a don't pass strategy or whatever strategy, and I tell you, here's the gospel, here's the way I believe it. It doesn't mean that you have to play that exact. I don't care what John tells you, Greg tells you, and I think they would agree with me that they're giving you the, the concept and the way that they play it is a very good way to play it. But it doesn't mean that you can't tweak. Matter of fact, the way I teach it, I'm giving you the concept. And I'm empowering you to tweak it. So I want to go over to the table and give you some uh, some thoughts on that, on different things. But it's okay. It's like I talked about a little bit earlier, you know, that with John and Greg going back and forth, and I just love that to death, it's causing more creative juices. So I did want to uh, get over there, and I wanted to lay this puppy to rest, uh, you know, because everybody thinks that, if you have a certain way to play, it's that way in total. It's either that way or no way. You, every single step has to be put in place or, or you're not playing it right. Ah, hogwash. Because <clears throat> when I was talking about my progressions on the don't pass, and I'm, I'm going to talk about it a little bit more, my single, double, odds, quadruple, whatever I put on there doesn't mean that's exactly how you, you have to do it. But the concept of progressively putting bets higher depending on the number, which I believe, uh, it's the progression part that I want you to understand, not necessarily the exact dollar amount. Okay, so we'll get uh, get into that here in just a second. But anyway, there there you go. We're in we're into the, my second segment of of Ken Unfiltered. Uh, as always, if if you like me, give me the thumbs up. Uh, maybe consider subscribing. 
and uh, hitting that bell notification. Uh, but as always, the best thing you can do for me is share this video. Share this video to anybody that you know this can help. Okay? So let's go over to the second segment. Let's uh, let's dispel or dispel whatever the hell that word is. Any rumors? Let's just put this to bed uh, once and for all. And then I may or may not even come back to the chair, but I probably will. Uh, but anyway, let's go ahead and do it. Let's get into it. <clears throat> All right, everybody. Let's just dispel or defunk or debunk or whatever that word is. You know, the do's and don'ts, what you can and can't do. All right, so I want to start off uh, with hedging, hedging or not. Everybody knows that I'm a hedger, okay? And then I know there's other people, you know, John, uh, is, it, it doesn't really get into it. And, and uh, even Greg uh, over at 555, he, he's got certain scenarios that he'll do it. But listen, if I want to put $2 over here, okay, and hedge this, uh, is it good for me in the long run? Probably not. But as I've said before, I only care about now, you know, right this second. That is Ken. That's how Ken believes, all right? Now, is it okay if you don't? Well, certainly it's okay. You don't have to, you don't have to put 50 bucks here. To, you don't have to do any protection. Does that mean you're wrong? No, it does not mean you're wrong. Okay, it's your theory, your logic. All right, I want you guys to get that. It, you know, just because I play it that way doesn't mean you have to, and it doesn't mean you're wrong for not. Okay, my big concept comes from don't pass because I think it's the strongest bet in a flipping casino. All right, now I'm also an advocate of progressive odds. Okay. So if it's a six and eight, I don't put any odds on it. Now, Greg goes, well, he's going to put $30 odds on everything. You know what? That's cool, too. Um, there is no absolutes in this stuff is what I'm trying to tell you. Uh, you know, you can mimic me down to the nth, and that's great, too. But I want your creative juices flowing just as well as mine is when I watch Greg and John uh, do the CNN Fox name. Okay, so you have your own theory and logic. Now, I think Greg was telling me, or John, one of those guys, when I say if it's a five or nine, I put single odds. Now watch this. To me, now this is just to me, single odds, if it's, if it's a nine, I've got to bet three to get two. So I may bet 30 to win 20. Well, that's technically not single odds. I would probably have to bet 45. Okay, 45 to win 25. There's single odds. Okay, so where I was coming from is when I was saying single odds, I was taking it from the side of how much am I putting over here versus the win. So how do you define single odds? Doesn't flip and matter as long as you got the concept. So if this is single odds to you, 45 to get 25, technically you're right. I'm not pulling a, a full single odds when I do it that way. But the concept is there, okay? So... Transversely, if it comes to double odds, well, to win, double that, to win 50, let's say the point was a 10, then I've got to put 100 bucks out of here. Okay? Well, that's true double odds. What have I been doing? You know, I may put uh, uh, 60. to win 30, okay? I put 60 bucks out of here. That's a little bit more than double odds if you're betting it that way. 
but it's not double odds if you go by the win. Okay, so what I don't want us doing, y'all, I don't want us like religious people. You know, you go to all these churches and things, and they get legalistic on you. You know, and I, I don't want to go into religion here, but, you know, the ba basic concept of accepting a Savior, accepting Christ, is the concept, and but everything else is legalism, okay, which I can't stand, okay? So, it's not about legalism. It's not about, you know, and I've had people go, well, Ken, you're not putting single odds, or you're not doing this, you're not doing that. So what? Okay? If I call a single odd 30 and win 20, that's just semantics. It doesn't matter. But the concept is 6 and 8, I don't put anything. 5 and 9, I get progressive. You know, and then on the 4 and 10, I get more progressive. So what I'm telling you is this. If you want to put double odds on a 6 and 8, then you want to put quad odds on a 9 and 5, and you want to max that thing out on a 4 and 10, that's okay. <clears throat> you still have the progression in mind. Now, Greg just puts 30 on everything. Fine. Okay, so my whole point is, there's no absolute, and it's okay to tweak. And I feel like, I don't, I shouldn't even say this, but, but with all the comments and banter back and forth, I just felt an obligation to do it. Much like when I sit here, say, and put $50 on the no 10 to protect my 25 over here, and then somebody else said, well, you're better off putting a $6 hop, okay? You're better off, and I don't have a hop. But you're better off at putting two dollars on all the the seven possibilities uh, rather than risking the fifty. In theory, you're right. I could risk six versus fifty, but then my logic comes in there and go, well, if I bang out a two and then a twelve and then a whatever, I'm going to burn up six. I'm guaranteed to lose that six. If a seven don't come, I'm guaranteed to lose that six, but I'm not guaranteed to lose the hundred. Am I risking 50 versus six? The answer is yes, but that's my theory. That's my logic. But if you want to hop it versus, you know, lay in the no 10 or no four, you're not wrong either. Also keep in mind, <clears throat> Though in uh, in sort of the opposite side of that, there are things that are good for you, and then there's things that you can do that are bad for you. Now, you could sit there and say, well, Ken, you're saying it's bad for me, but it doesn't mean I think it's bad. There's where we can get into some arguments or some gray area, uh, because if, if, if you want to bet... Uh, hops and you're, you're into the uh, the carnival bets and whatnot, it's not good for you, okay? There's certain things that are not good for you, and I won't give you all the examples because I don't want to load your ammunition to blast me. But anybody that's playing this game for any length of time knows there's good things to do and there's things that are not so good to do. Uh, I will also say this. There's some folks that will walk into a casino and they have a hundred dollars and they want to win a thousand. Now, to me, that is just the stupidest thing I've ever heard or seen, but it happens a thousand times a day in any casino. That's just the way it is. Well, you take a Greg, a John, a Skill, uh, you know, and I don't know all the YouTubers yet. And by the way, I'm hoping to. We know uh, that, no, you take a thousand to win a hundred or two. That's just, that's the way it is. Well, there's some folks out there that just don't realize it yet. Okay. But I still don't want to take away from your creative creativity. 
So what we're trying to teach, I think all of us in our way is whether you're playing the, the hedgeless horseman or you're playing the back wall or you're playing uh, the don't pass spread like I do. These are concepts. And I think that John, Greg, or any of us would say, hey, tweak it. Go ahead. Maybe I don't play that way and maybe I don't agree with you. But if your theory and your logic dictates that you hop versus putting the no 10, it's okay, man. Go ahead and do it. So that's what I wanted to dispel uh, more than anything else, that there are no absolutes, okay? There are better things for you than others, but um, get your creative juices flowing and go. Now, if you go too far off tilt, you know, where you take one of our concepts and you really mangle it, okay, with a lot of weird plays, then, okay, all bets are off. Then I can go, nah, you're out of your mind, all right? But if, as long as you're keeping in the spirit of a concept, fine, man, play it. You don't think Greg and John and me, we got to where we was because we didn't tweak and we didn't adjust? You're crazy. We did. So how can anybody commenting and anybody playing this thing think of it any other way? then it's okay to try things. Uh, if you're not sure whether you should try something or not, I promise you one of us three would be glad to help. Uh, but anyway, I just wanted to dispel that. <clears throat> and no matter what game I'm playing over here, whatever, I am teaching concept. Please understand it. I'm teaching a concept, okay? But you feel free to tweak it and play with it and you still can be okay. All right? So I hope we got that uh, puppy put to bed. And uh, so I'm going to go back over to the table, chat at you a little bit more, and then we'll, we'll call it a day. All right? So I'll see you back over there here in a second. <clears throat> All right, back over at the table. That's one thing I think is so slick uh, with John over there at Pro Crafts is that he can go from, you know, his table over – uh, you know, to where he's in front of the camera without having to stop, reposition the camera, and then shoot again. I just, you know, I was thinking to myself, one day I'd like to get me a 4K resolution uh, camera instead of using my cell phone and, and maybe have a couple, but I wouldn't know how to hook them or interface like John does. I just think that's so slick uh, over there. And uh, But I guess I have my own road to follow here. This is how we're going to do it. I don't foresee me doing that in, in the future, but it doesn't mean I don't think it's slick. So, but anyway, there we go. That's, uh, that's the second version here of Ken Unfiltered. I hope that, uh, that helped a little bit in, in what I believe and what I think. Uh, man, this world of gambling, it's got so many roads. Uh, and I think that Folks like John and Greg and myself, we're just trying to help you uh, miss a few potholes. You know, you may be a guy, you know, you're riding on a motorcycle, you see a pothole and you do a wheelie and jump it or whatever. Or you're the guy that just goes around it. But the fact is you miss the pothole. And I think that's what we're trying to teach. Miss the pothole. Uh, but anyway, hey, I appreciate you guys uh, joining me today for, or for my second version of Ken Unfiltered. Again, thank you, John, over at Pro Craps. Thank you, Greg, uh, over there at 555 Craps. Uh, I can't thank you two enough. I know skill and luck over there has helped me too. I don't want to miss him. But those really are the three that they've helped me the most. So uh, I have to shout them out. So if you guys haven't went over to their channels, please do so. Uh, I think you'll get a lot out of, and it doesn't matter if you have CNN and Fox fighting each other. I still think you can learn something from either one of them. And, uh, and that's the whole goal. Let's all learn together. So thank you very, very much uh, to you two guys, you three guys. Uh, and I, I just thank you so much. I appreciate uh, just the opportunity to be even pulled in, John, like you said, I'm bringing a third guy. 
I, I'm just humbled and, and, and thankful that I'm even in the mix. And uh, as far as doing a, would you call it a, a live stream uh, where, you know, you get several of us together, maybe doing a live podcast, you may have to help me figure out how in the hell to do it, but I would be all about that. Uh, I promise you. And uh, also too, John, as always, I'm going to hound you until I get them. Uh, I want those spacers with your logo on it and I want you to sign one of them. And uh, I, I, I emailed you or texted you the reasons. So anyway, y'all, that's it. I won't, I won't try to be as long winded as you know, I can be Lord knows. Uh, but thank you for joining me. I appreciate you all. I think we're almost to 270 uh, subscribers, which to a lot of YouTubers, you know, like Jeremy over at color up and, and, uh, whatnot, you know, they got zillions of people and, but to me, almost 270 is just, I never thought I'd even get that high. And, uh, and so we keep climbing. Thank you. All of you subscribers, thank you all for your comments, uh, suggestions, and thoughts. That's what this is about. We're becoming a community. And now we can take Ken Knows Gambling Community, 555 Craps Community, Pro Craps Community, Skill and Look Community. And we could just grow together and have a couple communities as the one big one. And I think that's a beautiful thing. So anyway, that's it. I got to go watch some college ball. I've got a lot of uh, got a lot of bets out there. I got to keep up with. So until next time, be great. <laughs>